So, Bill, from it to Castle Rock, one would think you have a special connection to uh, Stephen King these days. Yeah, it uh, seems like that. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, it's it's actually a, it, I didn't plan it to work out this way, but um, um, yeah, the two different, very different projects, but but um, they're both very great, and the roles are very different, and poses different challenges, and um, yeah, it's fun. I know you went deep for the character in it, and, and it affected you emotionally. And here you have another uh, sort of dark, very dark character. How, how, how? Do, what's wrong with you? Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, I don't like. It's the same thing. Like, I, I get the question a lot when it's like, did you, do you have a particular preference for genre-based things or horror? And I actually don't. Um, I don't watch a lot of horror films myself, but um, um, I like. Uh, characters that are um, that are bold or a little bit more extreme, and um, these two characters just happen. I mean, horror and supernatural and whatever, like it, 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 it lends itself uh, well for an actor to to sort of delve deep into different things, and they just happen to be dark, and dark stuff tends to inspire me. So, um, you have another it movie uh, in, in the works as well. Um, did you have any? Uh hesitation about uh, taking on a TV show at this point in your career yeah I did um, I did um, but this is an anthology show so my contract is a, it, it's a full story it, an, it has an ending and I'm only I only did this one season so I'm not coming back for any more uh, that I know of but um, so uh, I think TV is a blessing and a curse because you you do do it and you can get tied up to the project for years, um, but that wasn't the case. You know, that wasn't even in the equation for this one. Um, deciding to take the job because, um, yeah, it was, it, the story had an ending, and uh, and I like that. I like the, the sort of ten hour ten hour storytelling is 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 amazing and it's really um, appealing to me because you can get to really explore a character and you have a longer arc and and uh, um, it's a lot of fun. But it has a conclusion. Uh, I feel like. Sometimes a lot of TV shows tend to go on for years and years and years, and there's no really an end to it, and uh, the quality sometimes starts to uh, uh, to vary, and uh, you know, further down the line in a couple of seasons. So, so, um, but I like the 10-hour 10-hour um, stories are amazing. I think the, the future actually. I don't think you had met uh, Stephen King when you did the first. It. Have you now? No, I still I still haven't met the man. Um, it's uh, it's strange. Uh, he doesn't come out a lot. Obviously, he's you know he's he's, he's usually in Maine, um, and uh, uh, it's strange. I think I feel like I have to uh, to thank him <laughs> personally. Uh, speaking of that, what's the best career advice you've gotten in your career? Best career advice? Um, um, hmm. I just don't. I guess I don't worry that much. I think. Uh, a lot of people tend to uh, uh, think about you know your career, and they think about what your what your situation is today, and then that how that sort of reflects your whole life. So say that you're you know it's, you're not getting auditions or you're not getting roles or, or whatever right now. It doesn't mean that it will stay that way. So try to sort of uh, widen your your view a little bit and look more sort of. What have I? Have you compare yourself to like where am I now and where have I? You know, three years like, you know, as as opposed to like weekly. Just like, am I progressing in my career or, or my profession? Um, so yeah, just calm down. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.